So I thought for Christmas I would gift myself a new phone because this phone is absolutely shattered. How the fuck did and you do that? I was, so I had it, it fell out my pocket while I was uh, doing an IRL stream with yeah. mouse. Yeah. And it smashed and now it is like pretty much, it's like usable 10% of the time. So it's somewhat kind of works, but it's just frustrating. All right. So I thought, well, I got a new phone. What'd you get? How hard can that be? Well, let's 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 hold up on that before we get. Okay, there. okay. Just tell me what you get. I want to know. So I, you know, originally I wanted like the maybe the, the Z Fold or whatever, but I realized yeah. that I can't mount it to my bike if yeah. I do because there's mm. no because it would be like fucking flapping around, <laughs> yeah. and they don't make it's mounts. Not that flimsy. <laughs> well, no, because because like if you want a bike that goes on your phone, it's yeah. like because it's just one like panel. Yeah, you can just have these like mounts that stick to it really nicely. Yeah, 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 the, yeah. The Fold, there's no mounts right now. Oh, so I couldn't right. really, and I was like, well, shit. I, I well, you don't want to wait for the mount either, right? Yeah. No, and so I was like, all right, whatever. I'll go for the Pixel. So uh, in Japan, right, I was like, you know what? I'm with um, I'm with SoftBank. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, well, I'll just go to SoftBank because I have a, I have a, so this phone was a SIM-free phone, right? So I okay. bought it from Google. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I went to SoftBank <clears> and I got a SIM-free, or sorry, a, a SoftBank uh, SIM card. SIM card. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I thought I could just go to SoftBank and get a new Google Pixel 7. But oh no, of course, oh, of course. No, 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 no. Japan, right? so you, would, you would like to make a purchase? So here's what happened, right? Here, here's how it all went Without down. Without doing so, paperwork? Yeah. So yeah, first of all, you can't even just turn up the phone store in Japan, you have to book. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a new system they introduced for COVID and they haven't removed it. Yep. So you can't just rock up at a store and buy a phone now. You have to book, Yeah. yeah. which sucks. Because it's like, what if my phone breaks and I, I can't, I don't want to wait like two days. Yeah. So anyway, I make this booking. I say, hey, I want to buy the new Google Pixel uh, 7 Pro, whatever. Even though I already don't really like this Pixel, but mm. I'm like, ah, well, yeah, I won't be burned a third time, right? <laughs> so, so I go to SoftBank and yeah, again, I just want to buy a new phone. I already have a SIM with this provider. Yeah. I just want a new phone. And so I go in and also right now, they told me I couldn't have tethering on my phone because right. I didn't buy the phone from SoftBank. So I thought, yeah. oh, cool. Well, okay, I'll buy it from them this time and I'll get tethering. So I go in, mm. I'm like, can I have the Pixel? And they were like, uh, no. I was like, what do you mean? I was like, I'll, I'll buy it all in cash. I'm not trying to get like a like a loan on it. I'm yeah. just trying to buy the phone. And <laughs> yeah. they were like, ah, tie in this name. It was like hard. And that's how you know, like it's gonna be tough. And I'm like, why? That's, okay, the, that's the polite Japanese way of saying, fuck off. Yeah. I'm like, why? Why can't I not buy this? Yeah. And they're like, okay, so, Right now, even though your SIM is with us and you'd be buying the phone with us, it still wouldn't turn tethering on because the SIM, we, we just don't want to allow tethering on. I'm like, okay. Okay. I'm like, fine. I didn't really want it that much. I mean, it would have been nice, <laughs> but I guess like, I'll just, I'll just get, yeah. I'll just get a, you know, maybe I can, this, I was like, can so I get- Why are you being like Zoom there about it? Like, it's not like I wanted the tether anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, fine. I don't want the tethering. But actually I was like, actually, wait, could I, could I actually get a new SIM card right. that is for this new phone? And could I then have tethering? And they were like, no. <laughs> and I was like, why? And they were yeah. like, oh, because your visa is expiring in a month. So we can't give you a new SIM plan. Wow. And I was like, oh, but I already have a plan with you. They're yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, and you're not gonna cancel that. And they're like, no. I'm like, Wait. So, I, so I can't, <laughs> so I can't get a new plan. Right, but that they is the won't exact cancel same, the old that, plan. Yeah, that is the exact <laughs> same plan so they won't let me start a new plan that just allows me to tether with a, my same number and everything. It's right. no different. They won't let me do it because my visa is about to expire. Even though I'm, even though I'm like, hey, I'm renewing it. It's yeah, just yeah, renewing yeah. on the back. Yeah. They're like, no, sorry. They're like too many foreigners have ran away. So they, they changed the rules. And I'm One like- One bad apple ruins the whole oh, budget, I'm dude. like, what the fuck? I'm like, all right, fine. I guess I don't, I don't need that at all. All right, fine. Can I just get a new phone? They're like, no. I'm like, <laughs> why can I not get a new phone? And they're like, oh. They're just trolling you. They're like, yeah. oh, because if you buy this phone, yeah. it won't work with this SIM. I'm like, why not? I'm like, wait, so you're telling me the SoftBank phone won't work with the SoftBank SIM I have? And he's like, yeah, yeah, it won't, it won't work. I'm like, why? And he's like, oh, because you have a SIM-free phone right now. And this, this SoftBank SIM is a SIM-free SoftBank SIM. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and he's like, so that, that won't work on our phone because our phone only accept, accepts SoftBank SIMs. And I'm like, right. I have a SoftBank SIM. He's like, no, no, no. You, so you have a free SoftBank SIM. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean by that? He's like, oh, this only works on free phones, unlocked phones. I'm like, so you're telling me the SoftBank SIM I have won't work on your SoftBank phone? He's like, no, sir. I'm like, what? 
Are you insane? Do you realize how stupid this Bro, sounds? They have to be trolling at that point. They just like, we really don't want to give this guy a phone. I'm like, I'm like, what do you, what, so he's like, yeah. So if you buy our phone right now, it will not work with your current SIM unless you get a SIM that can only work on this phone. So I'm like, wait, how does that make any <laughs> fucking sense? So, what, so, so are they trying to sell you a phone? Or no, they wouldn't sell yeah. me the phone. At all? No, because I had to have a, 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 a plan only for their carrier. But like, did they not give you like other options? Being no. like, but what no. you can do no, is- they were like, get the fuck out. Oh my God. They were like, sorry, nothing, no can do. Yeah, well, and, and, I was and, like, you, went through, I was, and you went through all that trouble after a booking yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. and I'm like, this I feel like they saw your visa, like Ill illegal immigrant, obviously. <laughs> obviously, I, I'm he like, doesn't deserve a phone. I'm just like, okay, fine, fuck me. So my phone's broke and I can't do anything about it. Yeah. Like I, so now I, I, then I, afterwards I was like, fine, I'll go to, I'll go to like one of the other carriers and I'll see what I can do. Yeah. yeah. And they were like, oh yeah, yeah. Cause your visa's expired. Well, it's about to expire on mm -hmm. paper. It looks like they, yeah. no no carrier will will let you join. So even basically, though, even though I already have two yeah. more sims with Docomo yeah. for my streaming bag, they wouldn't give me one. But they they did. However, Docomo they did say they were like, hey, once you if you buy an unlocked phone from Google again and you come back to us, we can give you a sim that tethers. Hey, Docomo yeah. the goat. Yeah, yeah. I was like, all right. And they said, best of all, because you have you already have two sims with us. If you have a third with us, we'll give you ten percent discount on all the sims. And I was like. Oh, music to my ears. So I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking cancel my SoftBank same the moment I get right. I get I get my visa renewed. Honestly, I think just like, out of spite. I, th I think like locked phones are a fucking scam. Why why yeah. why are this phones why, yeah, I, why why are phones locked to a network? I, this is yeah. right. And, this is why I've always bought unlocked phones. Yeah. I'm like I don't want to deal with this this locked contract bullshit. Yeah. yeah. But Japan has designed a system that will punish you for trying to do that. Mm. Like they they I mean, obviously you can, obviously you can do it and some providers do it. But the, all the big co corporations and the big networks yeah. really don't want you to do it. No. They, they do everything in their power to not make you do it, which is fine yeah. if it wasn't hard enough already to get a SIM plan. Like it's yeah. it's hard. Like in the UK, you can you can order a SIM, which I did like uh, for some of my friends, I, I ordered them SIMs from the UK that they shipped to Japan. The company shipped it to Japan mm. ready so that when you come to the UK, it'll work and yeah, it's unlocked. Yeah. Work on any phone. I think I think the issue with a lot of these like Japanese companies is the fact that their main like market base is just Japanese people who are probably never going to use another SIM. Like they're yeah. just like yeah. in Japan, the most they'll travel is like fucking Nagoya. I mean, right? I, I, yeah. I, I, it's like, why would they need, why would you need, wait, so you're gonna buy a yeah. phone, but why would you need another SIM? You're not going anywhere. They've made a system so stressful, yeah. even compared to like the like English contract and stuff like that, mm. um, that is so shit to deal with that you'll just never question it. And you'll just keep yeah. get upgrading mm -hmm. your phone. You'll be like, I don't want to deal with it, having to do this shit again. Yeah. Yeah. It just sucks it's so much. It's just a simple like solution, right? Yeah. Yeah, you don't yeah, want to deal with it. Where it's just like, it's kind of all about brand loyalty at that point, yeah. which I feel, feel like is ingrained in a lot of like- Docomo's the goat, man. That's what I've realized. <laughs> <laughs> they were so chill Dokomo with me. Dokomo's the goat, no cap. <laughs> when, I, when I bought my other two SIMs, they were like, no questions asked. Yeah. Give this man two SIM cards. You know, let's just do it right now. I do also find it interesting how like going back to you having a book an appointment at the SoftBank because of like COVID restrictions or whatever. So like, yeah. like are, are we not beyond that point at this point? Japan isn't. Like Japan, J Japan is still incredibly so still shit. so fucking paranoid about it.